Hello, I'm Dwayne Grice with Grice Connect, and we're here in the edge of Bullitt County in TMT Farms with the owners Roy and Deborah Thompson. Uh, Roy is also the chairman of our county commission, and they have a beautiful place out here that they decorate and open uh, to the community for Christmas each year. And this year they've decided to do something a little different and offer a Christmas in July because of the pandemic. And a part of this is uh, to help replenish the uh, food banks uh, here. What a lot of people don't realize is that during the uh, Christmas uh, season, y'all collect enough food here to, to fill and feed our community for quite a few months. So Deborah, tell us a little bit about kind of your involvement with the food banks and what your goals are for this week here. Well, thank you. And um, like Drain was saying, we are very aware of the need here in Statesboro, Bullock County for food. And we do, at Christmas time, of course, we collect non perishable food items and toys and, and food, pet food for the Humane Society, the animal shelter. And John Long, who has Christian Social Ministries and does a wonderful job with helping feed people here in our area and the Statesboro Food Bank, because of the pandemic, we're, we're running short. Last year, John collected over 80 tons of food from just out here. We collected probably 83 tons total, and we gave some to some other food banks. Normally, those that amount of food would have lasted him until late fall, um, and he would have started back with the food drive and would have been in good shape. But this year, that did not happen, and because of the pandemic and more people being at home and some people being without jobs, the need of more food became aware. So he and Roy talked and said, why don't, Roy said, why don't we do um, a mini Christmas drive through in July for a week and see if we can collect food that would help replenish his stock and help the Statesboro Food Bank. And so that's kind of where this all came from. And um, the sign that we have up top that says, Together We Can Help, is also on the side of our food collecting booth that we've had here for quite some time. But we know that just one of us by ourselves cannot do it all. But t together we can help. And uh, we're hoping that starting on Monday night, July the 6th, that people will come and bring their food items and we can help replenish these two food banks. Well, this is a tremendous labor of love that you guys do every year and you do such a wonderful job with it. And um, I know the community just really has no idea uh, what is involved in putting this together. And I know Roy is the chief of that in, uh, in getting everything, the lights and the fam your family comes together and does this every year. But to open your home is very generous uh, from a community perspective. So, uh, Roy, tell us a little bit about what to expect when we when folks come out this week. Well, it all begins at 6 o'clock. Now, that sounds like an odd time to turn Christmas lights on, but that's when we're going to turn them on. And uh, it won't get dark until probably 9. So once we flip the switch, it's going to leave them on 24 hours a day until next uh, Sunday evening. And uh, we just hope that You'll be able to see two looks out here. One is the look that we saw as driving down today. You'll get to see all the equipment and everything. And then the, the, in the evening hours, it will be you'll get to see all the Christmas lights. So we just invite everybody to come out. And it is quite an undertaking. We've been working on this now for about six weeks. Normally, it takes 24 weeks to decorate for our normal Christmas show. And um, one thing we just ask people to do, if you come out, if you don't want to come, come out anyway and bring some food. So tell us a little bit about this area we're in now, because uh, you, uh, obviously, both of y'all are lifelong Bullitt County residents, and people come through this area. You're not from Bullitt County. You really don't understand the nostalgia that we're standing in the middle of. And one of the things you're most proud of behind us here, as you can see, the merry-go-round from 
uh, the Statesboro Recreation Department and the Pavilion, which was the pool there at uh, Fair Road Park and Robbins Packing and then some signs over here to uh, our side. So tell us a little bit about how that came about. This is one of our most favorite areas because we've lived through all of these businesses and most of them now are closed. And But I just love to look and I can still envision the businesses when I see these signs and even some of the people that worked in them. But one of our prized possessions here is the merry-go-round. You know, I'm 74, Deborah's 71. We both, I think we both had baby bottles when we was being pushed on that, along with a lot of other citizens. And uh, we had to bid for it. We did not get it free. We had to bid for it because we wanted it out here. But any time we're riding around and we see an old sign that's being thrown away, we ask, can we have it or can we purchase it? And most times people gladly give it to us. So uh, it just brings back a lot of memories. And we hope that people that have not been out here before or haven't been out here in the daytime will enjoy seeing all of the equipment and all of these signs so you can actually see them. So beyond this is the Western Village, and then you've got the Snooky's Restaurant, which you've recreated, which is right. obviously a walk back in time. The, right. the whole Eric Russell and the Snooky's, the Yon family, uh, and uh, Henry's storefront. You've got some storefronts, but tell us about the Western Village. Well, the Western Buildings, you know, Judge Joe Neville told me one time, and I never knew this. He said, you know what you, who you were named after, don't you? And I said, no. He said, Roy for Roy Rogers and Gene for Gene Autry. So, well... Uh, and I guess that was true. And I've just always loved Westerns. I, today, I still love to watch black and white Westerns. And, uh, you know, that's when horses ran 100 miles an hour. And But I still enjoy it. And we built our first building. And I guess the question came to us, why not? And we just started building Western a Western town. So you have, a, in non-COVID times, you generally have a lot of events. You have weddings and uh, I know you have class reunions and meetings and uh, a lot of stuff in your facilities out here. So there's activity here all year long, not just through the Christmas break. There is, and, and we've never turned anyone down from wanting to use the facility out here. I mean, it's here for use, and, and we, love to, we love to see people come out and enjoy. And then when, when their gathering is over, we see a lot of them walking down the road looking at all everything that's out here. And the last thing you're going to see is the chapel. Yes. And, uh, so is that something you built, or is that something you brought in? Tell us about the chapel. No, we th we built that. Uh, we uh, Every western town had to have an old western church. So that's it. And another favorite place of ours are all the steeples that you see when you come coming in. And uh, we just love to collect church steeples, and people will bring those out here and leave them for us. And then we'll put Christmas lights on them. But, but those are actually from churches who either renovated their steeples or who have uh, torn the facilities down and uh, donated those to you. Well, most most of it is that they have, are changing. Uh, they're building a new church. They want to just change steeples and things like that. So um, it's. Um, but we're appreciative of every. In fact, we got one two weeks ago. And we're appreciative of every steeple that we get. So all the homes that we see here, one of the first houses you see, which is really kind of a cool, uh, you kind of used to call it one of the centerpieces, is your daughter's and son-in-law's house on the right, and they've got it timed to music. Tell us a little bit about what they're doing, because that's pretty unique. Well, they will have that in operation this week, and um, he has it on a particular channel. You can turn turn your radio on and and hear about ten different songs being played, and it's 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 all coordinated according to the lights. Well, that's awesome. Well, that's right. Well, we love to uh, have everybody come out this week and help replenish the food banks and, uh, and and improve your spirits for a little bit of Christmas in July. Well, you know, I just hope everybody comes out and enjoys yeah, it because yeah. it takes a lot of sweat and uh, most of all, it takes a lot of want to and we want to. Well, we certainly appreciate it from a community perspective and uh, obviously, hopefully everybody will be on their best uh, guard for this week. and. We'll uh, collect a lot of food and have some Christmas cheer to raise the spirits in our community. So thank you, too, for what you do, and we appreciate it so much. Thank you very thank much. You.